Come in. Hey, Super. I've devised a few ways to fire an employee that's been in my hair. Task, do you mean terminate the employee's position with the company? Fire, terminate, downsize, right size, whatever. I thought of some ways to get rid of them. Oh, Task, I'm afraid to ask. Hey, that rhymed, didn't it? I'm going to call her in my office early Friday afternoon. Then I'll give her the axe. I'll have security shore the door. Oh, no. Task, have you given her a chance? Even a, a small chance to improve her performance? Look, it's not about performance. I just plain old don't like her. But that's no reason to terminate the employee. You're right. I've got to make it look legal. Well, I've got a couple of additional plans up my sleeve. Plan A. I will destroy her psychologically. You know, have things go wrong, then make her think it was her fault. Plan B. I'll offer her a position that sounds good. Then, once her old job is refilled, I'll cut back and eliminate her new job. <laughs> Wait a minute. You got to hear plan C. She's such a scatterbrain and it's so easy. <laughs> like you never heard of scatterbrain. Ugh. She's such a ditzy witsy and she's so easily flustered. I could promote her to a detail intensive job and then watch her get so frustrated that she quits. You know, the old Peter principle. Task. Ugh, discipline should be progressive. You know, like giving an employee a suspension before terminating them. Super, let me let you in on a little tip. There's nothing like instilling a little bit of fear into the insubordinates. It'll make them work like crazy. Oh, I just don't know what to tell you. I mean, that also results in low morale, in high turnover and subordinates who just hope that you, as their supervisor, fails. I tell you what, Super. You supervise your way, and I'll supervise mine. Fine. Gotta run. I've got some employee downsizing to do.